just a little reflection really on the coronavirus and the speaking industry or the coronavirus and public speaking really. First of all, times have definitely changed. Let's not pretend they haven't. There's no amount of positive thinking that's going to get us to think differently in this way. The times have changed. It's, they're not how they were. And that's all right. Things happen. They've changed. Get used to it. I'm, I'm getting used to it too. There is a grieving process. You know, if you've suddenly lost your business, if you've suddenly lost what you do, if you were just about to launch on a speaking career and all of a sudden that doesn't look very likely because people aren't gathering in groups anymore, at least for a few weeks, then, you know, it's okay to have some grieving time or as my good friend Paul McGee says, some hippo time, wallow in the mud a little bit, wallow in your own juices for a little while, wallow in your own emotions. But the key thing is knowing when to come out of hippo time, as Paul says. And uh, the grieving process could sometimes takes a while and that's okay. So have good friends around you. Have people you can chat to, business mentors, coaches, just chat with people about things. And that's what I've been doing. It's really helped me. Then a couple of things that, little reflections that might help as well. Realize that you're not a speaker. You're an expert that shares content and information. I'm definitely call myself a speaker. That's what I do. But, you know, I'm actually, you know, I know some stuff and I guess I'm an expert in that stuff and therefore... I share that stuff. So yeah, speaking is one way of delivering stuff, but so is my books and so is this podcast and so is online talks and offline talks and all those different things that I've done and even DJing and music and everything else. These are all different ways of broadcasting, all different ways of helping people to solve problems, to look at things in different ways. That's what an expert does. So Maybe for a while we should stop calling ourselves speakers and call ourselves experts. My other thought is what Alan said, to learn the technology. I have so many friends that are scared of technology, but don't worry about that. It's okay. We can learn all sorts of new things. It's never, you're never too old to learn new stuff. So learn the technology. It is your friend. I've helped lots of friends this week uh, do their first ever online video. And that was great. And a couple of other thoughts. Um, just read the mood. Have a look at LinkedIn. Talk to your people in the, you know, people that you know in the business world. Just read the mood. Because I think if we sell, sell, sell at the moment, if we go out marketing, it can be a bit crass. It can be insensitive, actually. And some people say, no, this is the time to sell. Well, actually, you just look like an idiot if you're trying to sell when people are suddenly thinking, how am I going to pay my mortgage? So yeah, I will continue to market what I do, but in a relaxed way, in a kind of, you know, as my friend Anthony Steers talks about, you know, just drop off your pizza menu. I love it when he says that. The telephone assassin, Anthony Steers, he talks about dropping off your pizza menu. That's what I'm doing. I'm just dropping off my menu to people. That's what social media is. That's what this podcast is and everything. I'm just dropping off my pizza menu saying, you know, when it's right for you, this is who I am. This is what I do. And can I help you? I've been approaching my clients this week and in the last few days, and I'll continue to do that in the next few weeks. I might just write them a quick couple of lines of email going, I'm, you know, crazy times, eh? How are you? And just ask them a question. And ultimately, I think pe people are forgetting that business is about relationships and you build relationships. You know, people have to know you and like you and trust you, right? You know that. People know you, like you, and trust you. That's how business works. No one has ever booked me that didn't trust me. So, you know, because they get to know me, they see my stuff online, they get to see what I'm like. So let's work on that process, knowing, liking, trusting. Just ask people how they are. I rang a very good client of mine the other day, and I just said, are you okay? And she spoke to me, and it was great. And it was just great to catch up, and she told me some of the issues, and... And then she said, oh, let's just, just chat in, let's just chat in a few more days' time. And we will do. But I, I wasn't promoting anything. I was just literally saying hello and then shutting up and listening. Yeah, so offer online input. Don't change everything that you do. Suddenly, oh, I'm an online expert. I'm an online speaker. I'm an expert who speaks. And I speak online more now probably than I will 
<laughs> that I have done in the past, but I'm online, offline, live. I don't really care. I'm an expert. I've got stuff to share. I help people to get good at work. I help them to get good at presenting or communicating, and that's fine. And be flexible. The person with the greatest flexibility is going to have the best outcome here. Be flexible in what you do. We're not all so, you know, we don't want to be really, really inflexible so that we, this is what I do. I just do keynotes on stage. I just do my 45 minutes and I've done it for 10 years and I'll never change. And, you know, that inflexibility won't get us anywhere. We just have to be a little flexible in different ways. That's what the best thing is to do is to have some flexibility to go with the flow a little bit. There's the expression I'll, I'll sort of, so I don't have to put an explicit warning on this. I will edit this slightly, but you've heard the phrase, uh, up Pooh Creek without a paddle. And I've heard that phrase around for the last few weeks. All oh, right, we're up that Creek without a paddle. I like to think of it in a slightly different way that, yeah, I think we are up Pooh Creek, but I do have a paddle. My paddle is my purpose and what I do. And, and actually, I'd even go as far as to say that I'm up Pooh Creek with a paddle and also a tour guide. Now you can read into that whatever you want, whether it's the big man upstairs, whether it's your faith that kicks into action, whether it's your values, whatever it is. But actually, yeah, I think we are in Pooh Creek a bit. But I have a paddle and I've got a tour guide. So if I ride the waves a little bit, we'll be fine in the end. I wish you every success in this Difficult time. We'll get through it. We've got through stuff before. I set up my business in the recession. So I've never known any different, really. I've never known a pre-recession business in that way. So yeah, let's stick together. Let's be kind to others and to ourselves. And let's continue to do what we do well, helping the world in whatever way we do. Thanks for listening. <laughs>